All right, welcome back to Tea Talk Tuesday. Okay, this is gonna seem like an obvious one for some folks, but as I have been knee deep trying to put finishing touches on my nutrition program, I just keep coming back to green tea so often. Now, there are certain things that I highly recommend for my nutrition clients, and including green tea as part of their daily nutritional regimen is one of them. And I want to talk today about why it's so important and um, really the many, many health benefits that it can offer. So let's dive in and take a look. First off, I want to start by saying this. So while drinking green tea can offer all of the benefits we're going to talk about, it is important to understand that like anything else, if you have a lifestyle that is full of fast food, processed foods, junk foods, candy, cookies, you name it, you're, you know, you're not very active. You don't get a lot of exercise or movement in your day. Your sleep is in deprivation mode. Your stress is through the roof. You can drink all the green tea you want, and it's maybe not going to offer you the same benefits. So our health is made up of an entire package of these things. And when we, when these things are in balance, we get to reap the ultimate health benefits of all of the things that we're doing to try to be healthy. So I, I always like to make sure people understand that. Um, so with that mantra aside, let's go ahead and dive into green tea, why I think everyone should include it in their nutritional regimen. Now, first and foremost, green tea is made from unoxidized tea leaves, and that is why it is one of the less processed types of teas that are out there. It's very, very rich in catechins, and because of it being, you know, not processed as much, and the catechins are antioxidants that fight and even prevent cell damage in our bodies. So we're always looking for things that are super high in antioxidants to help with our overall wellness and well-being. Now, according to the National Cancer Institute, the polyphenols in tea have been shown to reduce tumor growth in lab and animal studies. Now, other studies have shown positive impacts on breast, bladder, ovarian, colorectal, esophageal, lung, prostate, skin, and even stomach cancer. So there's lots of preventative um, measures here when it comes to drinking green tea and cancer. And researchers believe that it's the high level of polyphenols that is in the tea that helps kill the cancer cells and prevent them from growing. But further research is still needed to really further prove that this is true. But based on studies that have been done to date, that's what researchers believe. Now in a 2006 study published by the Journal of American Medical Association, it suggested that the consumption of green tea was related to a reduced mortality rate due to cardiovascular disease. So including green tea in your routine can help with um, the aspects of cardiovascular disease as well. And that particular study followed over 40,000 um, Japanese participants over the course of 11 years. And I believe those partic participants were between the ages of like 40 and 72, I believe is what it was. So <clears throat> that's the benefits when it comes to cardiovascular disease. Drinking green tea on a regular basis has also been shown to reduce the risk of stroke. Um, and that's according to the Journal of the American Heart Association. It's also been suggested that green tea can help with our brain's cognitive functions. And that's where I always need help, <laughs> particularly our working memory. Um, now, all of this information, you guys, has been published. It's out there. Um, green tea can also act as a great anti-stressor, and that's due to the theanine content that's in there. Theanine is an amino acid that has tranquilizing effects. So it produces these alpha waves in our brains that are associated with this relaxed yet alert mental state. So it can help really bring those stress levels down and it's believed that this theanine can lower cortisol levels during stressful periods. And we know that when we encounter stress, right, our cortisol levels sort of 
rays that they get really high. And so green tea and the theanine content in green tea can help bring those cortisol levels down. So honestly, that just brushes the surface of the many studies that have been done in regards to green tea. I mean, if you were to Google it, you would honestly find hundreds and hundreds, thousands of articles related to green tea and the benefits of green tea. And I know I've talked about these benefits in other videos that I've done in some of the parties, tea parties that we've done online. But I just keep coming back to it because it's such a powerful thing to include and to be able to replace, and you don't have to replace all of your cups of coffee, but to be able to go, let's say to one cup of coffee and a couple cups of green tea a day, I mean, is tremendous and really can offer some tremendous benefits. There's lots of other studies that have been done out there in regards to things like weight loss and diabetes. Those studies, I didn't bring those up because those studies still need a lot of research um, to really back those things up. Some studies show that yes, it helps with weight loss. Some show that mm, maybe not. It was other lifestyle factors. Um, so I'll keep looking and I always look for, you know, good studied articles, um, scientific evidence or research that backs these things up. So um, the green tea though, you guys, is considered one of the healthiest drinks in the world because of the it has the highest levels of antioxidants. Um, it has one of the highest levels of antioxidants of any of the types of tea. So if you were going to only pick one type of tea to drink, I would recommend green tea. Um, green tea is actually also the world's second most consumed beverage. So water is first and then green tea. And it's not surprising giving all of the benefits that it has to offer. Now, researchers think that it's the polyphenols in the green tea that provide its anti-inflammatory and anti-carcinogenic effects. Um, so again, lots of health benefits there. Green tea also contains manganese, potassium, folate, and magnesium. It also contains carotenoids, protein, chlorophyll, minerals, caffeine, theanine, vitamin K, and it includes two milligrams of vitamin C for each gram of green tea. And because green tea is unoxidized in its preparation, it has 10 times the vitamin C as compared to black tea. So again, it's got just the highest levels of antioxidants, the highest level of um, nutrient value in it, in the green teas. So all in all, you guys, green tea offers some pretty amazing benefits. Now, again, these benefits, they have to be coupled with other healthy lifestyle factors, right? That's this whole paradigm of our healthy habits, our sleep, our stress levels, our activity levels, our um, access to sunlight or access to the outdoors, um, our mental health. It's, it's all of these healthy habits that we need to try and get into balance in order to really optimize the benefits of all of these things that we're adding to our routines. So these benefits of the green teas and these benefits of other supplements we might be taking or foods we're including, right? It's all part of a big picture. You've got to work on all of that in order to really reap the benefits. So whether you choose to consume green tea as like a loose leaf brewed cup of tea or matcha, which you all know I love matcha, they're both gonna offer you amazing, amazing benefits, right? The amazing benefits that green tea has. If you're not familiar, so matcha is green tea, but what they do is they take the green tea leaves and grind them down into a really fine powder. And so you actually consume the green tea leaves themselves. So you actually have even more antioxidants in matcha. Um, than if you were to brew green tea as a, as a cup of tea. Um, but again, you're going to get benefits from both. So that is green tea in a nutshell. I love green tea. I think everybody should include green tea. I know I didn't talk a lot about the different types of green teas that um, Sipology offers, but they do offer a tremendous amount of green tea options um, in their catalog. You can also search on the website. Um, they have a classic Sencha green tea, which is your classic green tea. They have flavored ones. They have tons of matcha options. 
um, and I would be happy to help you navigate those if you're looking for a specific flavor or taste or not sure kind of where to start. So get your green tea in. All right. Thanks, guys. It's Tea Talk Tuesday.